Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to address something real fast. I am in Finland. For the last time, I will not be saying this in this format again. I have moved to Finland, and if you want to see the other channel regarding my life in Finland, click the link in the comment section. I got a very rude comment just a minute ago before I started to make videos. The person said, try to be a bit more serious. You sound like a four-year-old child. I still don't believe you are in Finland. You never show anything of the country. If you're smart enough, you're not a four-year-old child. Click the link in the comment section if you want to see videos regarding my life in Finland. It's that simple. There is a comment that is pinned and you will see it no matter where you go in the comment section because it is pinned. Go there, click it. You'll see where I'm living in Finland, how the life is going in Finland. Go there. There are around six videos on the channel thus far and I've been here a month and a, a couple days. So we're going to get right into uh, the video that we we're supposed to be reacting to, which is titled Non-Americans. What are the weirdest things about the USA? It's an Ask Reddit page, so we're gonna just get right into that. So, um, yeah, leave a like on the video and subscribe, and um, please don't write ignorant comments like that, like those, because most of them will be ignored, and I don't like ignoring you guys or, you know, being aggressive with you guys if you guys show me aggression. I don't like that. But either way, let's get right into this video, guys. What is the weirdest thing about America that Americans don't realize is weird? That there are a lot of squirrels. Some of them are terrifyingly bold. <laughs> Drive through everything. Even liquor stores in some states. As a Canadian, the raptor sized turkey legs sold at amusement parks lol. That's funny, I remember the first little turkey I saw was when I was in Canada. Just a little personal turkey in a plastic box. I laughed and laughed. All the commercials for lawyers, on the side of the road, oh, in television, goodness. in hotel rooms. Right. Okay, the last one was only in one hotel room but most of the time you couldn't go anywhere without seeing any ads for lawyers. Yeah. And so so many pharmaceutical ads. Right. The spacing. I know the US is a huge area, and of course big cramped cities like NYC are exceptions. But the size of the roads and parking lots just seemed really strange as a Central European. It's because <laughs> that's something that I cannot, I cannot stress how much I love the space. Um, I think um, Finland is a pretty spaced place as well. Um, being here actually seems, I've actually said it before, I think Finland has a lot of things in common compared to America in a positive way in terms of space in it's pretty good like i've seen the houses here man i'm telling you they got some big ass land space well this is north finland so i can't really speak for south finland with the cities and all of that city life i can speak for north finland north finland is literally so space like a lot of space but i love that love that cities and roads were built with modern vehicles in mind and tend to be relatively new in comparison as a Brit having traveled America extensively I don't know if I find anything about America that weird anymore. Your media and politics are insane, but day to day life is just rather normal and toned down. Average American is a lot less loud and annoying than their average politician or TV host. I guess one thing that's odd is that the average American seems a lot more attuned to the outdoors than we are. I've seen Americans sporadically ask their friends if they want to go on a night hike or go hunting. Generally if you hunt animals in the UK you're part of the nobility. I miss Cabela's. A co-worker of mine visited the US and stayed over my house from the UK. Oh my god, you have a mailbox, just like in the movies. Dafuk. Yeah we have just a letterbox in England. My girlfriend is Japanese and she was hanging out with me at home. I have a fish tank there and well, one fish wasn't doing so well anymore and he had finally swam to visit Poseidon, so I did what anyone would have done. Scooped him out of the tank, tossed him in the toilet and sent him on a final watery voyage with a few respectful words. The GF looked shocked. She said why did you flush him? That's just what you do. It's a fish. I then showed her a few videos on YouTube showing people doing the same thing. She thought it was the strangest thing ever. In fact, when she went back to Japan she brought it up to her mother who had a similar shocked response. I guess I'm supposed to bury a fish or something. Fish the flushable pet. 
spent a year in the US and came back for a few more weeks because I like you guys. I know you don't give a crap when you ask how I am doing but it's still nice to be asked that sometimes. Right. Oh, we do give a crap. That's why we ask. We just don't want to get into a discussion if the answer is bad. Your lack of inhibition with strangers. I spent a month traveling from east to west and stayed with my best mate in NYC for a few weeks. While there I decided to top up my red hair dye as it had seriously faded. One disaster later. Boring story. And my hair actually came out a luminous pink red instead. I'm talking pretty out there from my usual red. But I thought. Frick it. It'll fade soon enough and I'm traveling. Why not just rock it for a bit. What I did not expect was for all the comments on it by complete strangers. I live in Scotland and we're a fairly friendly. Cheery. Chatty bunch when we want to be. But it's usually during an ongoing exchange. Such as when you're being served by someone in a shop or restaurant. Hey. After having established base contact you might then venture out with oh I love your hair clothes bag whatever. It's pretty rare. Though not unheard of for someone to just pass you in the street and make comments like that. I was blown away by how often it happened over there. I'm a fairly sociable person myself and enjoyed it. But it constantly surprised me. I'd be walking down the street in my own world and I'd hear a hey. Or some hair from someone just passing me. It was great. I would probably regard this as an asset as opposed to weird. But I don't know if you guys realize just how different you are in this respect. I read this in a Scottish accent. I didn't understand a word. I bet you've got some sweet hair though, bro. <laughs> Commercials for antidepressants and surgeries. Generally advertisements for prescription drugs. Ask your doctor about Tikvidera. We're not going to even tell you what it does. Just trust us. You need it. If your doctor doesn't give it to you, sue him. Wow, y'all different, bro. Y'all different. I should probably bring my camera up a little bit. I don't know. I kind of think I'm looking down a little bit. Let me see. That's crazy because that's straight facts. Everything that I've seen thus far is actually factual. It's not negative in my humble opinion, any of them, except for the politics. The person who mentioned politics, that one's actually truly weird and negative, but everything else is pretty cool. I remember clearly this one guy playing some shooter game in a Greyhound lobby. He was so into it like nobody was watching. Then this random black guy came to look and shout at the guy words of encouragement. I was also really surprised how American America really is. Just like from the movies. You're pretty lucky to have spotted a wandering hype man. They've been known to cause spontaneous dance competitions in the most unlikely of places. I'm from the US but when speaking to the Spanish exchange students when they came to my high school told us that the meals tasted sweeter. Corn syrup. Smiling at strangers. I'm American but after living abroad and speaking to people from many different countries I realize that the small talk overly nice attitude towards strangers Americans have is considered odd and often fake to non-Americans. Most likely because in other countries, the way it works is that someone is distant at first meeting but gradually becomes your friend over time. In America, strangers will act like you are great friends, but in reality they don't think you guys are friends. They are just being nice. And this is something Americans are used to and accept as normal. No one thinks the guy behind them in line who strikes up a conversation wants to be your BFF. But I think this confuses people not used to that kind of culture. Thus the most common American stereotype I heard, even more than that we're fat and loud, is that we're fake. I think my cousin from Europe lost it when she saw a wacky inflatable tube man for the first time in America. Flags. Flags. I know a guy from Germany and he was in aura how long airlines are at the supermarket. He said in Germany everyone bags their own stuff and the cashier just scans it and slides it. The lines move really fast. Ah yes, I work at an Aldi which is a German grocery chain. We do it that way and now that I'm used to it I can't stand waiting in line at Cub or Target. The gaps between the doors in public restrooms. 
you could look someone in the eye through those a bit too comfortably. Also I only noticed this in Florida and not when I was in NYC. Mattress shops, and so many adverts for mattress shops, I feel like they're not something that people buy regularly, if anyone can give me an answer to this it'll make my day. For your information I'm from the UK. One thing is food delivery. Since one of the American stereotypes is that everyone is fat and lazy, this one was actually a big surprise. Where I'm from, every single place delivers. I'm combining the experiences into adjacent countries, so they are very similar. Even McDonald's and Burger King, and even every 5 star, exclusive restaurant. In one, literally 95% of places deliver. In the other country, most do. But for even those that don't, we have a service that basically acts as a middleman. They compile the menus of every single restaurant in the country or at least within a large area into one large menu book. Anything you want, even if you want 5 things from 5 different restaurants, you call them and order it. They charge a small added fee. I don't remember what it is, maybe 16%, but in these countries everything is so much cheaper than in the US so it's not really a lot more. So anyway, when I moved to the US, I was pretty dang surprised. I, I, being in Finland, I cannot really speak about prices, like if anything is cheaper here in Finland compared to America, I, I don't see it. I really don't see it. If we're going to talk about quality, I can say definitely there are things here that would have been much better quality than in America. But the price, I don't think Europe is cheaper than uh, America. And I, I don't think this person was specific about which country they were talking about, but definitely I don't think there are many countries that are cheaper than America due to the large um, production. Produ large production equals lower price. That's just a given in a business. Large production, lower price. Um, if it's a reduction in production, then higher price. So yeah. At so few places deliver, but mostly just crappy Chinese food or pizza or sushi, a few extra random places. That's basically it. God help this country if McDonald's ever delivers. <laughs> Having tax added on when you get to the till that is. Price tag says $5. You take a $5 bill out of your wallet, then bam, you're asked to pay $5.86 or whatever. <laughs> Met some Swiss guys at a house party after a mutual friend's wedding. They couldn't believe that we were all actually drinking out of red solo cups. It blew their minds. They kept on taking pictures and saying it's just like the movies. That's actually kinda cute. I remember in high school some Japanese students came for like a week and they took a picture with just about every blonde girl in the school. And they thought every blonde was a cheerleader. Because of movies. They were so excited. <laughs> Probably not the weirdest but I recently realized Americans have to register to vote. In here it's just, you're 18, you can vote. In many states registering to vote means checking a box when you renew your driver's license or filling out a form at city hall or on the internet. Your booze, alcohol and gas are really cheap. Also you sell alcohol in gas stations? Very dependent upon where you live. It can vary wildly from county to county, even. Where I live, you can buy beer only in grocery stores, not gas stations, but you can only buy hard liquor in specialized stores. The next county over, you can only buy beer in gas stations, not the grocery stores, and you can only buy hard liquor from the county owned liquor store. Asking strangers how are you without expecting an actual answer, it always felt so weird to answer with a how are you myself. And the huge bottles of pills. I bought 1,000 aspirin. <laughs> Just say, if somebody, like, let, me give, let me give you a little coaching right here, man. Let me, coach, coach boss, step in here, man. Listen, listen to me. If you go to America, and somebody says, like, how are you? All you gotta say is gonna hire you. That's it. Just chop it up fast. Don't say, I'm good. How are you? Nah, just, I'm good. How are you? Something like that. Just chop it up real fast. Get to the point. So if... If it's an instance where you're at the store, right, and you get to the cashier and they're like, hey, how are you? They're trying to get their job done. They're trying to be polite, get it over with. All you got to do is say, I'm good. I'm, I'm pretty good. How are you? And if they don't answer, don't worry about it. It's not it's not something that, you know, needs an answer. It's just something like a greeting. It's practically simply a greeting. Uh, some people will go as far as wanting to know. So watch the body language. I've always told people this, watch the body language because I've done it before where somebody asked me how am I and how am I and I'm like, I don't even I don't even answer, right? Because I'm just 
paying attention, getting the business done. And I can see that they're hurt by that. I'm talking about America. In America, this is what I'm talking about, right? So you just got to watch the body language and you can see if that person actually wants to know. But the best thing to do is just say, I'm good. How are you? Move on with your business. Keep going. Start a different conversation or something. You know what I mean? It's not anything big. In for like $6 and could barely believe it. My now retired parents take golf holidays in the US from time to time. Things they noticed as different and or odd. 1. Many areas have no sidewalks. 2. The size of food servings in restaurants is 5100% bigger than in Europe. 3. Outside of city centers, you almost never see public buses or people on bikes. 4. Houses in new, a bit upscale developments are huge compared to Europe. Who'd want to live in an 8 bedroom, 4 bathroom house 2 people and 2 kids my mother said. Just think of the cleaning. 5. So weird being in a supermarket not knowing how much things actually cost. Tax, VAT is added at the counter, often at very different numbers for different items. 6. Americans are extremely friendly, almost to an uncomfortable degree for some. When my parents got slightly lost and had to ask for directions, after 5 minutes, 20 people with huge smiles were surrounding them, trying their utmost to help, several offering rides back to their hotel. How your toilets are full right up with water, how's a guy supposed to pee quietly? In public places, urinals are a thing. In private places, the side of the bowl my friend. Exactly. exactly. Canadian who lived in the US for a couple years, I may be way off, and please educate me if I am. I always thought states were like provinces in other countries, but it seems more like each state is closer to being its own country and counties are more closely compared to provinces. The amount of power each state has within itself is quite a bit, and the federal government is something unlike any other. When I saw this, the name of your country the United States of America became more of a description than a country itself. Of course, I know that in reality the US is a country and the states are not, but the amount of diversity and autonomy between each state is nothing like I imagined anywhere else I've seen. No, it's just straight facts. Let me give you all the facts, man. Cold facts. How I see it, it's that simple as that. I don't look at states as if they're just states. I look at states as countries because I'm not going to say that, oh, uh, New York is a country, uh, Florida, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. I ain't going to do that. I'm not going to do all of that. But I look at it as a country because really, remember, America did not start with all of these, right? Delaware was one of the first ones. Carolina was one of the first ones. South Carolina we talking about, right? So we talking about the OG states, right? And then the United States is just comprised of more and more and more additions, bro. So places like Texas who wanted out. Remember, Texas wanted to be out of the United States of America, if I'm correct, right? So that's what I mean. Texas wanted to be out of their own country, stuff like that. So it's a, I, I look at it as a country. Yes, it's the United States of America. But really, you have to think about where this started from. It's like Europe. Europe could just say tomorrow, you know what, we're the United States states of europe it could say the same thing look at uh sweden and finland being beside each other you could say the united sweden sweden or fin sweet you know united fin sweet you know so and then it would become one country but really it could be separated into two different countries make sense to be fair almost nothing in the u.s is grape flavored it's purple flavored, purple flavored. Yeah. driving above the speed limit constantly not so much weird but i was actually really surprised at how big of a subject food is in your general conversations maybe it was just the people i met but seriously every time someone mentions they're going to a specific town oh you got to try that pizza place there people talking about new burger joints that opened or how they're going to this restaurant that serves pancakes with bananas or whatever the image about americans and food in france is that you guys don't really care you always eat at fast food restaurants or just microwave everything because you don't care. Quantity over quality. But that is so untrue. Oh god. How much you care about food. We definitely have differing standards of quality in food and drinks compared to you guys. But damn it if you guys aren't passionate about it. You have been visited by the beautiful Squidward comment beautiful as Squidward so that you're- Anyways man, we gonna wrap this video up right here to- 
long ass video man we gonna get up out of here so i hope y'all enjoyed i did enjoy it. it was really funny a lot of fun stuff in here and uh, uh smash the like button and then subscribe and uh yeah i'm in finland i'm gonna say that for the last time if you watch the entire video i'm in finland you want to see the channel click the link in the comment section or search on youtube g i o b o z z whichever one you want to say z or z just go G I O B O Z Z Z Z. Simple as that, and you will find the channel. Click it, and you guys will see the videos of me being in Finland. But either way, I gotta get out of here. This has been a long video. Peace.